Hello students, welcome to yet another online class. My name is Ms. Katrin Ibolume. I'll be taking the subject mathematics. Let's have a look, recap of our previous video. Our last video, which was our sixth video, we discussed angles. We we're able to identify different types of angles. The acute angle, the obtuse angle, the reflex angle, complementary angle and supplementary angle. We also went ahead to discuss angle at a point, sum of angle at a point, and vertically opposite angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, alternating angles are equal. We also discussed the sum of angles in a triangle, where we did a lot of examples to look we did a lot of examples to work on, and I know and I believe that you understood the last video. If you have any question, you can send me a message via WhatsApp. Today's topic will be discussing construction. We want to look at construction and how to construct different, um, want to construct a parallel line, perpendicular line, and angles, 90 degrees, 60 degrees. So let us put our lesson objective for today. At the end of today's class, the students should be able to able to construct a parallel line, construct a perpendicular line. Three, to be able to bisect a given line segment. Four, to be able to construct an angle 90 degree and 60 degree. Before we we'll commence today's lesson proper, if you're not with your mathematical set and your notebook, you can pause this video to get your mathematical set. Make sure that it is complete. Your eraser, your pencil, your compass, your ruler are also in the mathematical set before we can proceed. Because this is a practical class, you'll be able to construct your own parallel line construct the perpendicular line, construct a, a bisector of a line segment, construct angle 90 degree and angle 60 degree. So we start you having this instrument, which is multiple set, will be left out and you will be lost. So I want you to get your requirement, the multiple set ready, and get your notebook for us to construct together. We'll be doing this construction Assuming we are in the class, we will follow step by step on what to do as we are in the class to, to construct this parallel line, perpendicular lines, a line, a back sector of a line, and construction of angle 90 degree and angle 60 degree. So we can proceed. Construction is all about step by step. Taking construction is all about taking step by step to draw or construct a line accurately, construct a geometric line accurately, or to construct a geometric figure, a geometric plane shape accurately. The step you must follow to construct a geometric shape or figure accurately. So now, first of all, we'll be discussing how to construct a parallel line. Parallel lines are lines with the same distance, but they can never meet. So we want to construct a parallel line, giving a line segment AB and a point P that lies outside of the line segment AB. So we want to construct a parallel line passing through point P. Step one, on our screen, you can see the line segment AB. You can see the point P outside the line segment AB. So we want to construct a parallel line. So step one, you should draw a line segment AB and choose any point from the line segment AB, choose any point and name it X. So you can see X on our script, name it X. On the limit X and join X to P. Join X to P using a ruler. Join X to P. So name it line PX. These are line segments A, B. Choose a point X 
and join to point B. This is it. So go to step two. With X, place your compass on X. Place your compass on X. Place your compass on X. Open a convenient radius, a suitable radius of your choice. Draw an arc cutting the line PX. Draw an arc cutting the line PX. You can see the arc here cutting the line PX. The point of intersection, name it M. At the point of intersection of line PX with the arc, name it M. Also draw the same arc cutting line AB. Draw the uh, cutting lines AB. The real point of intersection where the, the line AB and the arc meet, name it N. Not a line, cutting line PX, the point of intersection where PX meet, name it M. Draw the same arc, uh, cutting AB, where AB meets, name it N. Step three, with the same radius which you have used in drawing the arc of m and n take it place your compass on p place the compass on p don't forget that you use the same radius we are using don't enlarge don't make the radius bigger and don't make it smaller the same radius you use in constructing the first one you use in constructing the second one place the compass on p draw an arc e f Draw an arc EF cutting the line PX. Draw an arc EF cutting the line PX. The point of intersection where the line EX causes free for a um, line PX, name it, name it Q. Name it Q. Where the line PX cutting the line EF, name it Q which is the point of intersection. That is step three. With P as center, place your compass on P and with the same radius used in, um, in drawing the first arc, M and N, draw another arc, E, F. At the point of intersection where they meet, name it Q. Name it Q. The, the arc cutting E, F, name it Q. The are cutting EF, EF, cutting EF with the line segment PX, name it Q. Step four, place your compass at Q. This Q, draw an arc cutting EF. Place the compass at Q, draw an arc cutting EF. This is our Q and this is our compass E and F. Draw at half cutting EF, bring the compass Q, and name it the point of intersection, name it Q. Where the R cuts EF, name it R. Where the R cuts EF, name it R. With Q as center, place the compass on Q with the same radius as before, the same radius you use. In, in drawing at EF, and the same way as you use in drawing at MN, draw, place it at Q, draw an arc, E cutting the line, E cutting the arc, EF. The point of intersection where they meet, name it R. With this step five, join R and P together. Join R and P together to so give us the required line. Give us the required line segment C and Z. So give us the required parallel line C and Z. We have the parallel line, we have A and B, and C and Z is parallel to A and B. You can see it. When you follow the five steps, step one to five, you should be able to construct a parallel line accurately without making any mistake. Now, we want to learn how to construct a perpendicular line at a given point on a line segment. A perpendicular line at a given point on a line segment. We have our, our line segment to be A and B at our given point, which is P. So we want to draw a perpendicular line. Step one, place your compass on the given point P. Place your compass on P. 
open the compass to a convenient radius of your choice. Any convenient radius of your choice. Place the compass on P, open the radius to any convenient radius of your choice. Then draw an arc crossing the line A and B. Draw an arc crossing the line on each side of the given point, which is A and B. Draw an arc cutting line A and line B. Take that again. This is line segment AB, which at a point P, place your compass on P, open to a convenient radius of your choice, draw an arc cutting line A and line B. Step two. From each arc on the line, we want to draw an opposite, we want to draw another arc on the opposite side of the line given point P. This is our point P, we want to draw another arc opposite P. So place your compass on A with the same radius, draw an arc. Place your compass on A with the same radius, draw an arc. Go to, place your compass on A with the same radius given that you use. Draw an arc, place your compass on B with the same way with online B with the same radius, draw another arc. The point of intersection where they meet, where the two are cut is, name it Q. Where the two are cut with each other, name it Q. Place your compass on A, draw an arc below, because we want to draw opposite the given point P. Go to B, draw an arc, the place at which the arc A and arc B intersect, name it Q. Step three, use your ruler to join the given point P to the new point where the arc intersect, which is Q. Use your ruler to join P and Q to Use your ruler to join P and Q together to give us a, the required perpendicular line. You can see that and I believe you can do that on your own following these steps and you can also see the examples which each step gives us on our screen. So you can go to do this by yourself at home. So please, I want you to practice it until you get the accurate drawing of accurate construction of perpendicular line. So the next one is how to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. How to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Where if we have a line segment A and B. So we want to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Step one, place the compass on one edge point of the line segment A. This is our A. Place your compass on A. Draw an arc above and below. Draw an arc above and below. Place the compass on A. Open to a convenient radius of your choice. Draw an arc above. Draw an arc above and draw an arc below. You have a given line segment AB, place the compass on A, open the compass, the convenient radius of your choice, draw an arc above, draw an arc below. Step two. Step two. Without changing the, the radius of the first one, place the compass on B, line B, draw another arc above and draw another arc below. They are meeting point. So we have an intersection, the meeting point of the above and the, the below. Step three, use the ruler to draw the line, where, to draw the arc where they intersect. We have the meeting points here to be C and D. Name the, the point at the intersection of above C, the point at the the below one is D. The intersection where they meet below is D. Use your ruler to draw, to join them together, to join above and below together. You will, you will have a perpendicular bisector of a 
of line A, B. Use a ruler to join the point where the arc intersects. The line segment C and Z is the bisector of A and B. This is line C and D. This is where they meet. This is they are the, the intersect of the above and the below. Name this place C and name the under D. This is when you join them together, we have a the line segment C D is the bisector of line segment A B. With the step one two three, you'll be able to construct a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Now, we want to go move to how to construct angle 60 degree. How to construct angle 60 degree. We know that in the angle, in the angle 60 degree is an equilateral triangle. Because in a tri some of a triangle where we have 60 angle 60 in the three side, when you sum them together, it will give us 180 degree. So we want to construct angle 60 degree. So like the previous, the other construction we have been doing, there are some special steps we must follow to be able to construct angle 60 degree. Step one, draw the arm um, PQ. You can see the same way you draw your line segment AD, the same way you draw PQ. What changes is the letter. You can use any kind of letter. You can use different kind of letter of your choice. You can select it be A, B, but mine is P, Q. Draw the arm P, Q. You can see it on our screen. Step two, place the point of the compass at P. You can see your P. Place the point on the place the point of the compass at P and draw an arc that passes Q. Place the point of the compass at P. Draw an arc. We can draw this up. Open your radius to place your place your compass on P. Open the radius to Q for you to know the exact arc you can draw that passes Q. So you have to place the compass on P and open the, the radio, you open the compass to Q to know the exact way you can open your radius. You cannot just open it to any convenience because sometimes when you open your radius to any convenient radius, you can draw an arc more than passing or in between line P, Q. Instead, place your compass on P, open the radius to touch to end at Q so before you can draw the arc. Place the point, place the point of the compass at P and draw an arc that passes Q. You can see it, the arc passes Q. Step two, step three, place the point of compass at Q, the same Q with the same previous figures which you have done. If you have used in drawing the, the line that the arc that passes Q, place it on, on Q, draw another arc that passes P. The intersection, where they intersect, name it R. I take that again. Place the point of compass at Q and draw an arc that passes through P. Place the point, put your compass here, draw an arc that passes through P. Where the intersection meets, where the arc meets, where they, are, where they meet, name it R. Step four, step four, where yeah, they meet, where the intersection meets, the R cutting Q and cutting P, we name it R. So, join the R where they meet to P. Where the two R meet together, which is R, join R to P. Using your ruler to join R to P, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be having angle 60, degree. And when you join R to Q, if you join Q to P, we have angle 60 degree. And when you join R to Q, we'll be having another angle 60 degree. And if, uh, if R here is 60, here is 60, here is 60, when you sum this um, triangle to, if you give us a triangle, I want you sum them together, giving us 
180 degree. But that is not what we're asked to do. We're asked to construct angle 60 degree. So the first step was to draw the arm, which is P and Q. Place your compass on P, draw an arc that passes through Q. Place the same compass on Q, draw another arc that passes through P. And the place where the arc meets, name it R. Now take your ruler, join to P. Take the ruler, join P to R together. We'll have angle 60 degree. It's on our screen, you can see it. And you can also follow these steps to get your own, to construct your own angle 60 degree inside your notes. So we are going to construct angle 90 degree. We want to construct angle 90 degree. Angle 90 degree is the bisecting of a straight angle or using the following step. It's either you bisect a straight angle or you follow the step which we are going to be discussing to construct angle 90 degree. Step one, draw the arm P A. P A. You draw a straight line or a line segment P A. You can see it then. Step two, place the point of the compass at P. Place your compass at P and draw an R cutting the arm Q. Draw an R cutting the arm Q. Place your compass at P. Draw an R cutting the line Q. Place your compass at P and draw an R cutting the line Q. Step two. Step three, we move ahead. Step three, place the point of the compass at Q. Place the point of the compass at Q and draw an arc of radius P Q. Draw an arc of radius P Q. Place the compass at Q. Draw an arc of radius P Q. The first, the first step was place the compass on P. Draw an arc cutting. Draw an arc. So which we have drawn, you can see the arc cutting the the PQ above and below. So we place the compass now on Q, we draw an arc. So they are where the intersect, where the two, inter the, the two, where the two arc intersect, we name it R. Where the two arc intersect, we name it R. You can see the R on our screen, we've drawn the arc, cutting it, we have another arc cutting to get R. So we we'll go to step four. Step four is place the with the compass at R. Put your compass at R. Draw an arc of radius P Q with the compass at R. Don't forget that the first radius was P Q. Don't change the same radius. With placing your compass at R with the radius, which is P Q, draw an arc. That arc, but the arc drawn, name it X. The arc drawn, name it X. With the same radius P, Q, draw an arc, place your, place your compass on R to draw an arc. So name it, the intersection where the arc cuts the first arc, we name it X. So go ahead, step five, with the point of compass still at R, with your place your compass on R or place your compass at R, draw another arc of radius P Q. With the point of compass still at R, we see with the same radius previously used as P Q radius, draw an arc above. Draw an arc above the other ones. The first arc we drew was R. Second arc is the point of intersection of the first arc is R. Second intersection of the second arc is X. So we are drawing another arc above. You draw another arc above. With the point of the compass still at R, place your compass at R and draw an arc. Draw another arc. Step six. Step six. With the point of compass at X. 
step five, for the point of compound at x, at r, we drew an arc. So step six, place the compass on x. Now draw another arc. Where they intersect, the point at which the, the two arc meet is, name it t. The point at which they meet, name it t. With the point of compass, still at, we come at compass at x, draw an arc. And with the same radius used previously to draw the other arc, which is P, Q, draw another arc. And where they intersect, we name it C. Step seven, join C to P to get angle 90 degree. Join your P to C to P to get angle 90 degree. What we did first was to draw a line PA, line segment PA. You can, it is easy. Line segment PA. Under the line segment PA, you can get a, in between there, you have Q. You have Q. Under the Q, draw an arc. Place your compass at P. Draw the arc, cutting through Q, which you have drawn. You can see it here. Place the same compass at Q and draw with the same radius, draw an arc. Where they meet, we name it R. At the same radius, still at R, draw an arc that cuts, that cuts the arc, the, cut, the, the first arc that cuts, that cuts through Q. We named it X. See? So put, place the compass again on R, draw an arc above, place the compass on X, draw an arc above their missing point name it c so step seven you join t to p to get angle 90 degree we join t to p to get angle 90 degree if you can follow this step from step one to step seven you should be able to construct angle 90 degree so what we have examples of construction, examples of construction. So we have the example, use a ruler and use your ruler and compass only to construct a triangle A, B, C. Using your ruler and compass only, construct a triangle A, B, C. Construct triangle A, B, C. With A, B, here we have our line A, A B to be five centimeter. A, B, five centimeter, angle um, B, A, C equals to 60 degree. And we have A, C, 4.5 centimeter. Using your ruler and compass only, construct a triangle A, B, C, where the side of A, B is five centimeter at angle 60 degree, and A, C is 4.5 centimeter. Solution, want to look at the step you must follow. Step one, draw, Step one, draw a line AB five centimeter long. Using your ruler, draw line AB five centimeter long. Step two, use the compass to construct a 60 degree angle. To construct an angle 60 degree, I know and I believe you should be able to construct angle 60 degree. The first step is draw a line AB, which is five centimeter long. Use your compass to construct angle 60 degree. Step three, use the ruler to find C. Such that your AC is 4.5 centimeter. Use your ruler to find C. Such that your AC is 4.5 centimeter long. Step four, join B to C. Examples, use a ruler and compass only to construct a triangle A, B, C with A, B equals to five centimeter and at angle 60 degree and A, C equals to 4.5 centimeter. Solution, draw a line A, B to be five centimeter long. Step two, use your compass to construct angle 60 degree at a. Step three, use the ruler to find C, such that AC is 4.5 centimeter long. Step four, join B to C.
you can see on our screen the the triangle ABC is the required triangle. This is our triangle A B C. This is our triangle, our line A to B is five centimeters. This is our angle 60 degrees, well constructed. And this is our line C, such that line C is 4.5 centimeter. That is the solution to number one question, or should I say number A question? We move to the next one. Number two question says, measure the size of an angle of angle ABC. Measure the size of angle ABC and the size of angle ACB. Measure the size of angle ABC and the size of angle ACB. Solution. Using a protractor, we want to find the angle ABC and angle C, the angle ACB. Using your protractor, you can get the angle. So using my own protractor, we find out that angle ABC is equal to 55 degree. Angle ACB is equal to 65 degree. I want you to do that by yourself to get the same angle. Or you can get your own angle whichever way you want, but you must have 55 degree and 65 degree. Therefore, the sum of angle in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. The sum of angle in a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Where you add the three sides of angles together, it will give us 180 degree. The first one is 60 degree, which was given in the question. And angle ABC is 55 degree. Angle ACB is equal to 65 degree degree. I take that again. The angle 60 degree was given in the question. Angle ABC is equal to 55 degree. Angle ACB is equal to 65 degree. When we add them together, we have 180 degree, which is sum of angles in a triangle. Number C, which says, example C, which says, major BC to the nearest millimeter. Major angle BC to the nearest millimeter. Major angle BC to the nearest millimeter. Hence, find the perimeter of a triangle in millimeter. Major, major BC to the nearest millimeter. Hence, find the perimeter of triangle ABC in millimeter. Solution. We're giving five, four point five centimeters AC equals to 4.5. Also give, they also give us AB equals to five centimeter. So we have to do some conversion. So we're converting 4.5 centimeter to millimeter. We also convert five, five centimeter to millimeter. Then we cannot find BC. So one, we have that 10, 10 millimeter is equal to one centimeter. 10 millimeter is equal to one centimeter, meaning one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter. So when we have 4.5 centimeter, you multiply it by 10 to get to get to get for 4.5 centimeter, multiply it by 10, we have 445 millimeter. Uh, yeah, which is five centimeter, multiply it by 10, will, it will give us 50 millimeter. So using the ruler, we find out that angle B, the side BC is equal to 48 millimeter. Using your ruler, we find to measure angle BC, to measure the side BC, find out that the side is equal to 48 millimeter. And we convert, 4.5 centimeter to millimeter is 4.5 times 10, which is equal to 45 millimeter. To convert 5 centimeter to millimeter is 5 times 10, which will give us 50 millimeter. And to find the perimeter of a triangle, we add the three sides together. To find the perimeter of a triangle, we have we had the three sides together. So AB is equal to five centimeter, which is equal to 50 millimeter. 
plus BC, which is which is 4.8, which is equals to which is 48 millimeter, which is something as 4.8 centimeter. So now we have 50 millimeter plus 48 millimeter plus 4.5 centimeter, which is equals to 45 millimeter. And when we sum them together, the perimeter is equals to one, 143 millimeter. We've come to the end of today's class, and I believe that you can be able to construct parallel lines, perpendicular lines, by sector of a given line. You can be able to construct angle 60 degree and angle 90 degree. So we'll meet next class. Remain safe and God bless you. Take care of yourself. Stay safe.